Hey folks, this is your Community Manager Monster, and today we're going to continue the adventure with Emotion Effects. Specifically with our Jack character where we're going to set up the logical transitions and blending animations for Walk and Run. If you haven't followed along with this content and have no idea what I'm talking about, then definitely check out the links to our previous videos in the video description below. The environment setup in this video is still the same as the last video, but just in case, here's a quick overview of what we're working with. We're currently running Lumberyard Beta 1.11.1.0, and are set to samples project for our default project. Cool, so let's continue this rather short saga. Alrighty guys, so this is where we left off in the previous video. So let's start by selecting our transition line right here. In the attributes window, go all the way down, click on the add condition button, and since we just created our parameter our speed, we'll keep it to the parameter condition. Click add condition. And then back in the attributes window, scroll all the way down until you see conditions and then your parameter property. Click on the field right here and then select speed for your value. Leave everything else default because at this point, what we're testing for is if parameter, which in this case is speed, is greater than our test value, which is zero. So if our speed is greater than zero, then transition over to blend tree, which will have our walk and run animations, which makes sense if the character is moving. However, the character is not moving right now, which is why it's still doing the idle pose. So let's go ahead and try that out by moving the speed value up and above from zero. So you can see that it did transition from idle to blend tree, but it doesn't go back to idle when I set the speed back to zero. Well, that is because the condition is not met in the transition from blend tree to idle. So let's go ahead and set that up. Select that, the very bottom, add condition, parameter condition, add condition, come all the way down, parameter is going to be speed. And then for our test function, we want to change this to param equals equals test value. Basically saying, hey, if the parameter speed equals to the test value, which is zero. So zero equals zero, which is true. Go ahead and transition, which it just did. So let's go ahead and just scroll through this to make sure it all works properly. Great. Let's go ahead and dive into the blend tree node and set up some of our uh, blending animation for walk and run. All right, so just double click into the blend tree node right here. And let's create some space by moving our canvas around. I'm going to middle mouse click and move around. Great. Let's go ahead and add some motion nodes by right clicking on the canvas, create node, sources, motion. Do one more. Awesome. So now for the first motion node, we're going to name this walk and then reference the proper motion, which is jack strafe walks forwards. Same with the second motion which is going to be run, select, uh, runs for Z up, okay, done. Now we need to blend these uh, motions, uh, animations based on the speed or input value of speed, right? And we can grab the parameter by creating a new node. So go ahead and create new node um, or create node and go to sources parameter. As you can see, the parameter node already has speed as an output. Now, we also want to have smoothing uh, for our speed or parameter numbers. So it's not just going from 1 to 100 or like, you know, all the numbers. It has to transition between the two. So instead of going from 1 to 100, it'll go from 1, 25, 50, 75. It'll take a little bit more of a smoother approach. So we stop getting those jaggy animations. So to do that, let's go ahead and right click on the canvas again. Create node. Let's go to math, smoothing and go ahead and connect our speed output to the destination input for smoothing. Done. Now to blend these two nodes for motion nodes right here, let's go ahead and right click on the canvas, create node, look for blending and blend two. And it does exactly that. It takes two poses and blends them based on the weight. In our case, the weight is going to be our input value for speed or character, character speed. So let's go ahead and connect the result output from smoothing to the weight input in blending two. Let me go ahead and move these out a bit. There we are. And of course the walk output pose to pose one and run output pose to pose two. 
And then finally, take the output pose from blend2 and put it into input pose final node. Great, so that's all we need for the setup. Let's go ahead and start messing with the speed slider to see how the animations are blending. So up, it's gonna start walking. Somewhere in the middle, it's gonna start running. Uh, and then faster, run faster. But you saw that there was an issue with the blending of animations right here, right? Even with smoothing on, uh, basically intercepting our parameters numbers. So we were like doing this jump. Um, and the reason for this is because the blend to sync is not set up properly. So let's go ahead and click on our blend to node right here. Go to the sync mode and switch it from disabled to full clip base. Now it's going to blend much better. Alrighty, so that's pretty much it for this video. If you have any questions, feedback, or future video requests, go ahead and post them in the comment section below or on our community forums at gamedev.amazon.com forward slash forums. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons for future notifications on Lumberyard content. Thanks for watching and I hope you have an awesome week ahead. Till next time, cheers! I don't... Uh, I don't even... Yeah, I don't... I don't know. I'm... Nope, we're not doing this. Alright, alright, stop.